I just wonder how your YouTube subscribers will feel about this, man. I just wonder how your money gonna feel. Nah, nah, take it off. I just wonder how your money gonna feel. This is crazy. Like I can't believe girls is really like this. Right? I'm just never gonna find a wife. I feel it right now. I'm never gonna find a wife. Manipulation tools. Women use to control men. We draw a method. What is this? We draw a method. Some women use this method to gain power over their men and control them. We manipulate them. Now, if you want to kick it, we can go back to my spot, have a drink, but I'm not paying though. So if you're not with that, then you can get out. It's up to you. We can go all the eat. I'll pay because mm -hmm, I'm in. Mm -hmm. But I'm not all that tricking and trips. And we're not about to do that. So listen, if you want to go get a drink and get some dinner, we can do that. I'm not paying for nothing else. So if you want to catch a vibe, let's go. If not, you know what to do. I mean, why are you so adamant about not because paying? Because I need you to know that I'm not, I'm not no but trick you're though. still going to want some at the end of the day That's so what I'm not paying for you're, okay well you're not jesus christ like i don't understand hey, what so, type of man so you think look. you are you're not nelson mandela you're not martin luther king you're not a barack obama they can get for free maybe but you you don't have to pay this new generation of women are horrible guys before we continue i found that 50 percent of you who watch these videos are not subscribed click that subscribe button to support truth and click the like button to keep these videos circulated within the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for your support and truth. Let's get back to it. What is this withdrawal method? Some women use this method to gain power over their men and control them, manipulate them. So what they do is that they withdraw. They stay on their own. They get distant from you. They hardly call or text or communicate. They hardly. And even if you call, they hardly peek. Even if they peak, they want to rush over a conversation. They are withdrawn. They stop talking. They stop doing all what they used to do. And by so doing, they know that because you care about them, you are going to ask them what is happening. You know, I credit channels like Henrietta Okan for exposing the wickedness of women. But please understand that she only provides a surface level understanding. Most people are aware of the mental gymnastics majority of women play with men. But what is the root cause of this wickedness, this Jezebel spirit? On this channel, I cover marriage, divorce, remarriage, and dating and relationships from a biblical perspective, using discernment and directive from the Holy Spirit. Because you got these feminist channels out here who use the murder of many women to convey certain undertones, insulting domestic violence awareness as an idol, and of course, disparaging men, particularly black men. Such channels present a false balance. They never talk about the millions of aborted fetuses laid to waste by the so-called black woman. They never at least address Numbers chapter 5 verse 29, which explains how a spirit of jealousy comes over a man when his wife is unfaithful. They never explain how abortion opens the doors to many spirits of death and how generational curses perpetuate through the blood of the women. And this is dating back to when Eve had sex with the serpent and the serpent was not a snake. Now, it is not my job or I am not even interested in gender wars or talking about all of this foolishness, but someone has to speak up for black men. Who's going to speak up for us? We currently live in a matriarchal kingdom, which is very satanic and very effeminate. And the penalty of all of this is the lake of fire. I believe wholeheartedly in the lake of fire. I've stated many times on this channel, most people are going to the lake of fire. It's written in the scriptures. Read Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 and 14. Now, in relation to the serpent being a snake. If you read the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 8, it says, he who breaks a hedge, the serpent will bite him. Does that mean every time you sin, a snake is going to bite you? No. If Adam and Eve literally bit of a fruit from the tree, why is it that Eve was cursed with perpetual blood loss? And she was also cursed with pain and sorrow, nine months of pregnancy, etc. Why is it that Eve's name is rooted in the word evil, E V I L, and devil, B E V I L? Never disregard the roots of wickedness and never discount the wickedness of a woman. Now, 
I am not insensitive to the perils of domestic violence and even death. Also, I commend the righteous women whom are submissive to their husbands or the ones who do not have husbands patiently wait on the Lord to bless them with a husband and children. But we got to stop this devil from playing both sides. He's got people out here believing that a snake produced seed and that the seed of the woman will literally crush a snake's head. A literal snake. No. The serpent was a fallen angel who coerced one of the beasts of the field to deceive Eve. Okay, but it's much deeper than that. And I don't have time to get into that in this video. Let's continue. Sex. This is one way some women manipulate men. And these kind of women, they try to be the best on bed. They try to blow you up. They do it exactly the way you like it how you want it. Whenever you want them, they are always available. In fact, they fulfill your fantasy. Make sure you enjoy it. Make sure you are happy. Make sure you are obsessed with them. You want to have it more and more and more. Never believe the lie that the mainstream media convey saying that men think about sex more than women. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Sex is far more part of the woman's identity. The difference is she pays a greater penalty for sex to this day because she desired to be like God and proceeded to have sex with the serpent to fulfill her aspirations to become God. This is why the Most High said, now her desire shall be for her husband. Therefore, women must think about sex to adorn themselves to attract men. That's why they spend hours in the mirror putting on makeup. Continue. And by so doing, they use this to manipulate you. When they want something and you deprive them of that thing, they are going to withdraw that. Knowing that you like it so much, you want to keep on enjoying her, you will do whatever she wants you to do to get that thing that you like so much. And at times, some of them, they will try to seduce you, put you in the mood, blow your head. You are so horny, you are so hot. And they stop, keep you on the hook and make their demand. Because you are so on, you are so hot, you can't even reason well. You make a promise. They make you make a promise. That's the truth. She knows the mental gymnastics because she used to do them. And you're hearing these things from the mouth of a woman. So you don't accuse me of being biased. Those of you who are feminists. I promise. By so doing, they are using that to manipulate you. That is the truth. Because if you don't fulfill your promises, they might withdraw their body. And you are so attached to their body. By so doing, they are gaining control over you. And that's the Jezebel spirit. And the so-called white man has been the greatest champion of this foul, dirty spirit. It is he who allowed the devil to use him by instituting the transatlantic slave trade, turning many of our women into whores, building cities, and even got the nerve to build churches off of slave labor. Then he sent his children to the best universities so they can graduate and become judges and prosecutors and attorneys, assuring that black men account for the majority of the prison population. You see, the scriptures say that they have taken up crafty counsel against God's chosen people, saying, let us cut them off from being a nation. The sin debt is outstanding. And now the chickens are coming home to roost. It's something called 1,000 years of slavery in New Jerusalem. But most of these heathens are going to the lake of fire. And I'm not speaking of all white people. All right. I want to make that clear. But you must understand that when the debt has not been paid, that passes down from the fathers, the forefathers to the children. Okay. Now a person can still be saved and saved from the wrath of God, but that does not mean that they escape the judgments written in the scriptures, which state that they shall be servants and handmaidens. All right? You got to read your Bible. You got people coming on this channel arguing with me about this, and they're not studied. They don't read the scriptures. Now, earlier, I showed the video of the harlot who told the man that he got to pay to hit it, okay? It's the so-called white man who taught her these things. Okay, he taught them how to steal with child support through the use of their bodies, through whoredom. Okay? And all gold digging is, is just another form of stealing. Because the so-called white man was a gold digger. 
Okay, he used the resources, the blood, sweat, and equity of the so-called black man to comfortably situate himself here in Babylon for many generations. So you can credit this matriarchal kingdom to him and his treachery. Again, I don't speak of all so-called white people, but for those that's righteous, you need to read the scriptures about generational curses and how the sins of your forefathers passed down to you. Another major way some women manipulate their men. They pretend to be the right woman. First of all, they try to ask you the kind of woman you want. And when you tell them they try to be that woman, they please you, they make you happy, they begin to make you feel that they are the right person. They do everything you want. And this is one way to melt every man's heart. You begin to feel that, ah, I feel this woman is the one. I feel I'm going to keep her. Ah, the kind of woman I have always wanted. You begin to trust them. You begin to get attached to them. You begin to love them. They are blowing your head. You can't do without them. They put you in that level that you see them as the best. You can't even imagine yourself living without them. They are so caring. They look out for you. But guess what? Don't be so relaxed. This is for a short period of time. If they want something, they will withdraw back. They will stop. Knowing that you are going to come all running to them, you are used to them. After all, they have painted a perfect woman's picture to you. And now you have trusted her, you like her. Of course, you're going to go to her. What is happening? Right. And that's the perfect manifestation of the Jezebel spirit. See, here on this channel, I teach about the weaker vessels described in the scriptures. And in future videos, I'll go a little bit more in depth on this. But Leviticus chapter 17, 11 states that the life of the flesh is in the blood. All right. I need you to pay attention to that. So the weaker vessels who rule over this satanic matriarchal kingdom, they were greatly wounded by the plague of the fallen angels, which compromised the skin pigmentation of the Gentiles and also cause perpetual blood loss, obviously, to the woman. Okay, and these are among the many things that make them the weaker vessels. Talking about the so-called white man and the woman, of course. Okay, now why am I emphasizing this? Because in the book of Genesis chapter 25, when it says one nation will be stronger than the other, referring to Jacob and Esau, we know that that's not only talking about physical strength. Why is the Most High putting so much emphasis on strength? And also in the New Testament, he stated that the woman is the weaker vessel. He's referring to spiritual. Okay, he's referring to faith. Okay, by being the weaker vessel, that is a disadvantage. All right, meaning you have a higher concentration in your makeup. In your DNA, you have a higher concentration of sin, meaning you're more prone to wickedness. Okay, so I'm going to get more deep into this study moving forward. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I want to have an intelligent conversation about the offspring of sin, the incredible cost of sin, and how this is turning a whole generation of women into reprobates. All right. And it's not just the women, it's men like London, who I'll get into in another video. The man portrayed in the beginning of the video, London, a rich young ruler who is also a reprobate. OK, so I will be given a well-balanced narrative of the whole dilemma. But let me know your thoughts. Enjoy the rest of your day.